Welcome to our review on making cars. So if we think about cars, then we know that they're made of lots of different materials. So different parts of the car are made from different things. And the reason behind that is that the different parts of the car need different properties. So obviously we need the main body to be relatively strong and to obviously be malleable so we can change its shape to suit whatever design car we have. But when we think about a windscreen, we need it to be transparent not very good putting in a metal windscreen because then we can't see what's in front of us. So think about the properties that are relevant to each particular use in the car. So aside from thinking about what materials suit the particular uses, and that's all based on their properties, remember, then we also need to consider what happens to these materials at the end of the car's life. Now, what we've actually got these days is a European Union directive which requires cars to be easier to recycle. So in the past, going back many, many years, then what we found was no one really thought about this. We built a car because we used the things we fancied using at that point in time. But as time's gone on, and obviously our understanding of the effects of these different materials, etc., has become greater, then we've started to change our views. So what we have as a result of that directive is the fact that our car manufacturers have to avoid certain toxic materials and they've got to increase the amount of a car that can be recycled once it reaches the end of its lifetime. And this directive actually states that by 2015, which is where we are now, then 95% of a car's weight must be recycled. So if you think about all of those things that go into a car these days, then what the European Union is saying is that 95% of the total weight of that car must be recycled now. So obviously we can recycle metals, we can recycle the wiring and things like this, the glass, etc. So as opposed to just taking cars and just leaving them in these sort of old scrap yards, we're now going to be recycling as much of that car as possible to obviously minimise the impact on the environment. 